Hey guys, coming at you from the basement days. Um, we didn't make it to the gym today, so we didn't need equipment for this wad, so we decided to do it in the basement. Um, a little bit of nostalgia. We are doing um, a wad tomorrow that is gonna be the wad for the day, uh, but it is also gonna be the challenge wad. So we're gonna do a baseline wad that is gonna include some body weight so everybody can do this challenge wad. You do not need a dumbbell. For, so for those of you at home that don't have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, that is not needed in the challenge wad that we're gonna do. This wad is going to be a baseline wad for the challenge and will be repeated every one to two weeks. I haven't quite decided on that. Um, so hopefully all of you that are participating in the challenge will get this done for sure. Even if you are not participating in the challenge, uh, this is the wad for the day for Saturday, okay? It is 10 rounds. Um, I don't have a whiteboard, unfortunately, so it's on my pad, but you guys will see that in Sugar Wad. It is 10 rounds with a 20 minute time cap. So if you can, in 10 rounds, get a 100 meter run, 10 push ups, 10 sit ups, 10 squats done, then your score will be your time. If you do not get 10 rounds done of a 100 meter run, 10 push ups, 10 sit ups, 10 squats done in 20 minutes, then your score will be time capped at 20 minutes. So you'll put 20 minutes into Sugar Wad, and then in your notes, you will say you got seven plus. 20 or whatever it is. The run is gonna be calculated as a point of one. So if you did seven rounds plus you got the 100 meter run, it would be seven plus one. If you did seven rounds plus the 100 meter run and 10 push-ups, your score would be seven plus 11, okay? Um, so it's all body weight stuff. The only thing that you have to worry about sort of scaling or in terms of modifying would be your push-ups. You think you cannot do 10 push-ups in one to two rounds in the first in the early rounds then you probably need to adjust that number so that you're not spending all your time doing push-ups so you should be able to do 10 push-ups in two sets at the most if you think you can't do that drop that number to something you can do in two sets otherwise you'll stick to 10 and then obviously we will be doing um, push-ups on the ground. If we need to scale them, Max is here to demo for us and we'll be scaling them for you as well. The sit-ups should easily be done in one set. Squats should easily be done in one set. And then you have a 100 meter run. For those of you that cannot run, you have the options and you can actually turn this into whatever you want because it is going to be your challenge baseline and you are not going to be scored on how much you improve compared to everybody else. You are just going to look to see for yourself how you improve. So if you decide you wanna do a sub on your 100 meter runs, your options, and what I would say your options are, we can do the vertical jumps slash the full extension um, movement that we talked about, and there'll be a video attached to today's sugar wad for that. So you'll do 20 vertical jumps or slash full uh, extension movement. You can do 20 dot hops. You can do 125 meter row. Or you can do a calorie bike, uh, seven calories for guys, five calories for me, females. If you have something else you want to switch that to that you think can give you a cardio type movement, you are more than welcome. Just put that in the notes as to what you did. Uh, I toyed around with the idea of mountain climbers, but I really would not like you to do mountain climbers because it's going to tax your shoulders. And I want you to be able to move through these workout, move through these rounds really quickly so that you can try to get done 10 rounds in under 20 minutes. And if you tax your shoulders on those mountain climbers, that's gonna impact your push-ups. So that's why I'm trying to stay away from something like that. If you do the row on the bike, you are gonna have a little bit of that, but probably not as much as you would have if you were actually doing mountain climbers. So that probably wouldn't be your best bet to do that. Otherwise, whatever you decide to do for subs is fine for, with me. All right. With push-ups, we have Demo Guy Max back in the house um, after Kale took over for a day or two for him. We, he's going to demonstrate our full push-up. So remember with the full push-up, I don't care that it is 10 rounds and you want to get done as fast as you can. It is still 10 full range of motion push-ups. So on the ground, go on the ground, don't worry about that. And you're going to do 10 push-ups all the way to the ground. Uh, thighs and chest touch the ground. Good. All right, up. If you cannot do that and get full range of motion, then we need to take some body weight off. So we are going to go to um, 
something that Max can do where he's elevating his body weight. So he's going to go to the chair and he'll do push-ups on a chair if you have a chair. Or he could even move over to our big treadmill. Remember when we used to talk, when we used to use that back in the basement days and do push-ups that way. Good. While he's standing there, we are going to do full range of motion squats where our hands go up and down. No. Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. Do it again. <laughs> there we go. Right? So remember, chest up. Go do that a couple more times for me. Chest up. Hips below our knees as long as you are capable of going below parallel. If you're not capable of going below parallel, you squat to where you're capable and that's fine. Just put in the notes that you didn't squat to parallel. And then sit-ups, I don't think we need to demo that. Everybody knows what sit-ups are. That is your wad for tomorrow as well as your challenge for the week, uh, for Saturday. So that'll be your day six of challenge. All right, everybody, good luck.